loves, welcome back. It's me, Jessica, also known as Mrs. Jezzy, and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. We are just jumping right into it. I am starting off here in my bedroom, and I will be fixing up the bed, picking up some laundry off the floor that I've had for like maybe a week just sitting there. It was folded, but I have to refold it. I will be wiping down the nightstands, wiping down the dresser, dusting off my little shelves I have in the corner, just doing everything that needs to be done, all the things in this room. And I am so glad that you are here today joining me. So let's get into it. So here I'm just quickly picking up things on my husband's side of the room. He loves to just throw his things on the side and then of course I go and pick it up. And then I was also unpacking um, his backpack from his quick trip to El Salvador. So I'm going to quickly wipe down his nightstand. Um, and then I'm going to put away the things that I took out of his backpack. Did you see the basket of socks that I just showed you? That's just a small one. I honestly have like a regular size laundry basket full of socks. I don't know why. I just don't throw them away. I just have this feeling that one day I'm going to be able to match every single one of them. But I honestly just need to get rid of it because it's it's just in the way. Um, right here, I am quickly revising an estimate that I needed to send out. So I thought that I would just leave that in there so you guys can see that sometimes... I am doing just regular housework at home and then I have to stop really quick and do something for work and that's just how my life is. If it's not doing something for work, then maybe I need to quickly run out and get something done for the kids for school. But yeah, I just, I know that I'm a stay at home mom, but I do a lot more than just staying at home. Uh, we all know that stay at home moms, we clean the same things every day it's just repetitive no matter what it's just something that we have to do so we should just enjoy it and then I do things for the kids um like school activities Elena's in band and she's always busy in band I have a high schooler and then I still have my little guy who's in the elementary um today a matter of fact we will need to start making his valentine's gifts for his 20 classmates so yeah I'm, I'm always doing something and um I just wanted to leave that one little clip in there so you can see like it's not just like chill mode all the time here at home it's always go 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 whether it's cleaning working school whatever it is it's I'm always doing something I am quickly going to vacuum the floors. I will be mopping the floors, but that's going to be later on in the video after I've cleaned the rest of the house. And then I'll go back and just mop all the flooring. Sometimes I feel like it's convenient for me to... A vacuum sweep or mop the room while I'm doing it but on this day because I wasn't in a hurry but I just wanted to make sure that I was cleaning every section thoroughly that I was uh, cleaning because in this video I will be cleaning my bedroom my bathroom doing a quick clean of the laundry room the entryway which really needed it the hall tree the living room and the kitchen so this video has a lot of cleaning in it and I wanted to make sure that I cleaned everything right and then I just went back and mopped the floor So like I mentioned, this video has a lot of cleaning in it. And the next thing we are cleaning is this messy bathroom. 
Oh my goodness, am I the only one who just has a disaster in their bathroom at all times? Like, it's honestly just me and Urai that use this bathroom, but it's always messy. There's always stuff everywhere, and I don't know. I guess that's just life. We live in the house, so I always have a mess to clean. But I'm just going to quickly put everything away. Uh, one thing I do need to do, but in a future video, is organize... Um, the drawers and the cabinets in this bathroom. I We've been living in this house for four years. Well, it'll, it'll be four years in August. We bought this almost four years ago. And I have honestly never, ever did anything to the bathrooms as far as decor or anything like that. Same things with the kids' bathrooms. Um, I've only changed out the shower curtain pretty much. And I honestly feel like Oh my goodness, Jessica, it's going to be four years. It's it's about time you finally start doing something. So I want to, you know, put um, maybe some hooks in there or something for towels or a small wall shelf with some decor. Like I need to do something. I know in my bathroom, I have the shower glass, so there's no need for curtains or anything like that. Um, I don't have one of those like a bench in the shower. So I was thinking of maybe getting one of those little bamboo benches that I can keep on the outside and maybe like have a towel or something as decor on it. I really don't know. I have some ideas, but I really don't know what to do. Also, my bathrooms are very, very small. I know sometimes in the videos, my house may look like it's pretty big, but it's actually very small. Um, it is a three bedroom house and it is, it's a small house. It's bigger than anything that my husband and I have ever lived in, but it it is small. Uh, we are a family of six, but hey, we make it happen, and I love it, one, because it's ours, it's the first home that my husband and I have bought together, and I guess really because it's mine, that's that's why I love it so much, because it's mine, and I can do anything and everything that I want, not that I have the money to constantly remodel my home, um, but when I can, I will. My channel is mostly um, cleaning, but I do want to start adding things in there. You know that I decorate. I love to decorate for every season, and um, I'm going to start doing things just little by little. I'm not I'm not full of money. Um, I can't, you know, change my living room or my bedroom or furniture or anything constantly, um, only for YouTube. I do what I can with the money that I can, and... Um, I will just be decorating as I go. But yeah, that's something that I really want to do um, this year. Don't know when, but I do want to start just adding decor little by little. Hey, it may be next month. It may be next week. I don't know. I can just start buying things and doing it little by little. That way y'all can see how I do things. Um, you can see that you don't necessarily have to go and buy every single thing that you need to decorate a whole room. You can just buy little by little and I can either film it little by little so you can see how long it takes me or we can just wait until I have everything and then we can go ahead and um, decorate the bathrooms. So I am now starting here in the entryway. I really need to wipe down this hall tree. Um, I need to organize the basket that I have full of masks down there and just get rid of all of these sweaters and jackets that we have here. Guys, a week ago and exactly a week ago, it was freezing here in Texas. We had snow, the streets were icy, it was cold like in the 20s during the day and it and today it's just like 
hot outside and hot because it's like almost 70 degrees so i was like i need to take all of these off of here and give this thing a good wipe down i also needed to organize um this little bin that i have right here with the mask this is something that gets touched daily the kids constantly grab masks from here every morning when we're walking out the house so i just wanted to organize them and then i also had three new boxes because my husband did bring us some from el salvador masks have well Whenever we were buying the masks, they were so expensive. And when we went to El Salvador last year for spring break, I had stocked up on them and we were running low. So when he went uh, last week, uh, he brought us back some more. So I just wanted to organize them. And all I did was take everything out and then put the new ones in the back and the ones that I already had in the front. Now I'm just going to quickly wipe down the hall tree so I can put everything back up. Uh, the living room and the entryway, Valentine's decor, I did not film. Um... As you guys know, I was not feeling good in the time that we were decorating the house for Christmas. And I didn't want to have to ask the kids to decorate the whole house, you know. So I just had them help decorate the kitchen. So this was something that we just did on our own without filming. And it got done very quickly. But I knew eventually it would end up being shown in a video. But yeah, um, I'm going to vacuum up here and then move on to this messy laundry room. Guys, I just want to let you know that probably in every video that you will ever see, my laundry room will always be dirty. And I'm being as honest as I can. I will never, ever show you a clean laundry room <laughs> in any of my videos. And it's only because... I'm constantly washing and it's hard to keep everything in the basket, especially when you're sorting things or when the kids bring you the baskets from their room. You don't want just everything in a basket because the kids, when they throw their clothes in there, they're not saying, okay, mom's going to want the whites here and mom's going to want the towels here. No, they just throw everything in the basket and bring it to the laundry room. So I have to sort it out. And where do I sort it? On the laundry room floor, on the floor in front of uh, the laundry room, in front of the driveway, uh, not the driveway, in front of the garage door. So yeah, my laundry room is always gonna be a mess, guys. And like I say in every video, this channel is real life. This is how it always is. My laundry room, when it stays clean, it stays clean like as far as the jars that I have or this little, um, I don't even know what to call it, this little iron board basket type thing. That stuff always stays somewhat clean, but as far as the floor, no. I always have towels, socks, clothes, just, it's always on the floor. And I just wanted to let y'all know, so if you happen to watch another video and you're like, man, her laundry room's dirty again, it's always going to be dirty. I'm just being honest. So I'm quickly just showing you what the kitchen and the living room look like compared to what my home can look like. It's really not that bad. I honestly feel like I've been talking a little too much. So I am going to go ahead and let the music play while I go ahead and tackle this. Feel 
somewhat close to the end of the video i wanted to come on here and quickly introduce myself again one because i have gained so many subscribers in the past two weeks i literally went from 640 to over a thousand and it is amazing i appreciate every single new subscriber who has subscribed to my channel welcome guys i am so happy to have you here my name is jessica my channel is mrs jesse and i am a working stay-at-home mom from texas i have four beautiful children natalie who is 14 Elena, who is 13, Julian, who is 11, and Jacob, who is 6. I have been with my husband for 16 years and 14 of those years married. And like I said, I am a stay-at-home mom. I create a lot of cleaning content. Um, occasionally, I do decorate with me. And I love, love, love watching other YouTube moms, um, other YouTube creators, stay-at-home moms, vlogs, whatever it is. I love it. Anything that pertains to being 
a stay-at-home mom I love and I am so happy to have each and every single one of you here my channel has grown so much in the past few weeks and it is amazing and what better way to tell you all thank you than to give back um, if you are still watching you are lucky because I waited until the end of the video to announce the giveaway I want to give away two $25 gift cards to any store of yours, a store or a restaurant, whatever you want, Walmart, Target, Amazon, if you want Starbucks, just, hey, you say, hey, Jess, I want this, and that's what you're going to get. I want to tell you thank you so much for joining my family, for helping me grow, and I am so happy that I have each and every one of you on this journey with me. The only thing that I ask for you to enter the giveaway is for you to just let me know where you're from. I have like I said, gained so many new subscribers. And I want to know where you guys are from. Are you from Texas like me? Or are you in California? Are you in Florida? Are you in a whole nother country? Like, just let me know where you are from. And that is your entry. Also, um, I wanted to let you guys know that the day that this video is going up, it is my birthday. And um, if you want to comment, you know, some little balloons or a birthday cake to let me know that you watched the video all the way through along with where you are from, I would so, so appreciate that. But guys, yes, thank you so much for watching this video, especially if you are here and you are entering the giveaway because you watched the video all the way through. I am so happy and I'm happy already for the two winners that are going to win this giveaway. It's just, it's amazing what the YouTube community can do for one. And I am just, I'm overly excited. Um, I don't have an exact outro going out, but just Again, thank you so much for always being here, for all the support to my oldies but goodies. Thank you guys so much for always being here. To all my new subscribers, thank you for joining my YouTube family. We are so, so blessed to have you all here. And I will definitely see you guys in the next one. I love you all. Bye.